When you think of brands, which ones come to mind? Coca-Cola, Starbucks, McDonald's, Walmart, Apple, Nike. Millions of brands populate our world, but the true test of their longevity and resilience is brand management. Without brand management, none of these brands could have achieved the lasting success they have. In this video, we will tell you everything about brand management. Four, what is brand management? Brand management is a branding component that involves maintaining and bettering products, services, and brand perception. Brand management, when practiced correctly, gives cost leverage, increases customer loyalty, and establishes meaningful brand awareness. It also embodies the customer purchasing process relationship. An infographic about brand awareness. Branding demands commitment, commitment to continual reinvention. Richard Branson, it goes without saying that creating a brand is just the beginning of a longer process. Brand management is this longer process. In order to have continued success, there needs to be a concerted effort to deliver dynamic branding. Think of your business like a tree seed you've planted in the ground. Your brand is the leaves and branches that bloom as the business grows. Brand management concepts mapped onto the outline of a tree. As the tree, business, grows, scales, the leaves and branches, brand, need to be trimmed and cut to adapt to this growth. This is why it's so important to understand the basic principles of brand management. Let's begin with an overview of the basic benefits that come along with effective brand management. 3. Main Brand Management Benefits Grows sales through increased customer advocacy. Powers overall brand awareness. Enhances pricing leverages produces lifelong customer loyalty, helps brands scale. When looking at these benefits, remember that they're only a reality for businesses that practice effective brand management. There are right and wrong ways to handle and maintain a brand. In order to make sure you handle yours correctly, I'll break down a few important principles. 2. Basic Brand Management Principles The necessary elements that make up these principles are straightforward. You need to involve these different elements to evaluate your branding endeavors and ultimately succeed. When it comes to specific strategies, it's possible to break free from the norm and manage your brand in a unique way. The following elements require constant assessment, the key to overall successful brand management. Here are the most relevant principles as well as a breakdown of why each is important. Brand equity. Brand equity creates value through reputation, impression, and perception. It's important because it changes the dynamic of a product or service that companies offer, since customers trust the brand over their perception of the product or service. This, in turn, gives businesses the opportunity to increase their prices. Infographic about existing customers. Here's an example to help you remember brand equity. Imagine you're going for a jog in the park and you come across two concession stands. One is nameless, the other is Gatorade. The nameless stand is selling sports drinks for half the price of the Gatorade stand. It stands to reason that most people will still select the Gatorade stand based on the brand equity it holds. Brand recognition. Recognition is not a scarce resource. You can use it up or run out of it. Susan M. Heathfield. Brand recognition indicates how easy it is for audiences to identify your brand without hearing or seeing the brand name. This is typically a visual element, as usually things like a slogan, color scheme, logo, or packaging lead customers to recognize the brand. However, it does extend to things like audio with brand advertisement jingles. Brand recognition is crucial because it signals to customers whenever they see one of your products. This results in a higher chance for them to make a purchase. Coca-Cola bottles with personalized labels. We know a Coke when we see one, regardless of what name is on the label. If you've ever seen the start of an advertisement and knew exactly which brand was behind it without seeing their name, that was brand recognition in action. We don't often think about it, but it's a powerful thing for a brand to be able to create that connection with customers. Brand loyalty. Brand loyalty is when a customer is devoted to a particular brand over their competitors. Note that brand loyalty isn't customer loyalty, which involves customers buying a product or service because of its specific quality. 
Brand loyalty involves a customer buying a product or service based solely on their loyalty to the brand. It is important because it leads to other benefits, such as word-of-mouth advertising. Here's an example demonstrating brand loyalty in action. Someone needs to buy four new tires for their car and chooses Goodyear because of their dedication to customers over the years. Note that their decision to purchase had nothing to do with the product quality. This is how powerful brand loyalty can be and why it must be evaluated constantly. 1. Brand Management Strategies You Can't Ignore in 2022 It's not enough to implement a basic brand management strategy. You need groundbreaking ideas that constantly challenge and revamp your ideas. The following strategies were crafted with the concept in mind that a brand cannot possibly succeed without dynamic, unique ideas. 1. Do more than simply create a unique selling proposition. Use it to your advantage. Your unique selling position, USP, sets you apart from competitors. A brilliant slogan lasts a lifetime. To create a unique selling proposition, understand where your product fits into the market. What makes it different from its competition? Is it more durable or cost-effective? How is your company different? Is it more innovative or stable? Whatever it is, define it and write it down. For example, our company is the most creative and the product is the most stylish. Once you've defined your USP, use it to your advantage by turning it into a sexy key message. Use this as the backbone of your marketing activities. You'll be surprised at how often it pops up. 2. Evaluation is an incomplete, inadequate piece of the puzzle. Follow this comprehensive model instead. As I've pointed out in the principles section, evaluation of certain brand elements is essential. However, the mistake a lot of brands make is believing brand management is a process that begins and ends with evaluation. This just isn't the case. A better strategy to follow would entail a basic plan for evaluation, followed by a sustained plan for future re-evaluation. All of this would then be laid out in a detailed schedule to ensure none of these measurements stagnate. Illustration of a person looking at graphs representing evaluation. It's best to follow a three-pronged process. Organize and list brand elements and assets. There are many different elements and assets you need to manage. Build a list to keep them organized. Also, keep in mind this will continually grow. Come up with a plan for all teams. Whatever type of plan you create, make sure it's accessible to the necessary team members. This will help keep everything evaluated on time, which ensures goals are met. Reevaluate the overall process. The key word here is reevaluate. Make sure your processes get some extra attention, even after they're created. Also, ensure this includes reviewing the manner in which it's currently set up. Brand assets require attention, and plenty of it. There are a lot of different assets that are a part of your specific brand. In order to truly create a successful brand management strategy, brand assets need some special attention. In case you're unsure what types of elements qualify as brand assets, I've created a list of a few of them. Keep in mind that there are more brand assets, but these are the most important and or the most overlooked. Visual elements. Good design is intelligence made visible. Zena O'Connor. Visual elements are the brand asset most people know best. There are quite a few things to consider when it comes to managing different visual elements. First, it's important to take note of the different visual elements you have control over. These are usually things such as logos, layouts, and color schemes. Social media accounts. Some of your most important and sometimes underestimated brand assets are social media accounts. A common mistake companies make is creating an account that doesn't fit with their brand. This happens more and more as brands expand their outreach to new platforms. Travel video on website, YouTube, and Facebook. If, for example, they have a Twitter account where most of their tweets are friendly, funny, and laid back, they cannot make a YouTube account and post serious, dramatic videos. Stay true to your brand throughout each social media account you make. Keep in mind that each social media profile needs to have the same personality of your brand. They should behave in a manner that reflects brand ideals and values. Website. A website is a window through which your business says hello to the world. Amit Kalantri. Companies often ignore the potential power of their website or app. 
What they sometimes don't realize is that it has the power to both entice a customer or turn them away. Part of brand management includes caring for the well-being of a company website. This should consist of detailed analysis and continual evaluations, which will give further insight into how well the website adheres to the brand. Web Design for a Garden Greenhouse Website An easy example to get this point across is a website design agency's homepage. No matter how good they might be in designing websites for their clients, if their own website fails to appear professional and modern tech-wise, no one will buy their services. Do let us know in the comments if you've understood the concept of brand management. Thanks for watching.